Hi, my beautiful Cancers. This is Nayla Latrice, and I am here to do your monthly read for September. I'm going to pull an oracle to get your overall energy. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Cancers? What messages do you have for my beautiful Cancers, Spirit, for the month of September? What message do you have for my beautiful Cancers for the month of September? I hope you guys are all doing well. Comment below and let me know where you guys are watching from. I love to see how far far across the globe I reach. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Cancers for the month of September? What messages do you have for my beautiful Cancers for the month of September? Okay. What message do you have for my beautiful Cancers? Okay. Woo. Accelerated motion. Destiny. Yes. I absolutely love this for you, Cancer. This is amazing. I feel like, um, especially with this 10 here, this is a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. So I feel like you are on the right path to your destiny. I feel like you are on an accelerated path to your destiny. I feel like you have a lot of clarity. If you don't have this clarity already, it will be coming towards you. And I feel like you are moving at a very fast rapid pace towards why you were even put here on earth this has all about to do with you and your purpose and why you are here getting in touch with who you are connecting with your higher self connecting with your spirit team this month is going to be all about you rising to higher dimensions and you focusing on your spirit team and you connecting within yourself. I feel like there's a lot more within you that you have yet to discover as there always is. But there's something very important and pertinent right now during this month of September that you really need to get in tune with yourself, with your spirit team. I'm hearing grandma. So I'm not sure if uh, some of you guys have a grandmother that, um, and spirit that is trying to want to connect with you or reach out to you to give you some type of information to help you on this path wow this is very beautiful energy for you to start off with you guys are moving very very quickly towards your dreams this is star power this is all about your dreams and it's number eight that is all about karma so everything that you have been putting out is on its way back to you there's mountains in this background look at how she's focused Woo! there's so much to say just with this card alone um, look at how she's focused on this star right here. She's focused on her dreams. She's focused on her destiny. She's like, uh, uh, I don't care what it takes. I am getting to my destiny. There is nothing that's going to stop me. There is nothing that I am going to allow to get in my way. And then with the sacrifice card here, this is also the same as, uh, the full card, I believe. So this is taking that leap of faith and you're not afraid to jump off that cliff. You're like, huh, I'm going for it. <laughs> no bars hold you're going for it also with these mountains here you're tired you've had so much stress you've had so many um people that have just been blocking you and maybe you've had some blockages of your own as well yourself keeping you back however you're overcoming um these blockages and these mountains you're at the top of the mountain and you're literally i just feel i feel quick something fast something is happening very very quickly for you and it's in regards to who you are it's in regards to your personal journey and your purpose spirit okay Yep, you guys are moving forward. We have the six of swords here. You guys are you guys are thinking about something as well. I saw the five of pentacles. You guys are definitely coming out of the cold. You guys are definitely surmounting over these mountains. Who I'm getting so much energy. This I've been doing the reads at 10 minutes. Cancer, yours might be a little bit longer because I really feel a lot with this. You guys are in the spotlight. You guys are gonna be recognized. This card is just speaking so, she is so focused. You guys are focused. You guys are not playing any games in the month of September at all. I feel like I could do the whole read literally just based off this one card. You guys had a tower moment or getting ready to have a tower moment. But I feel like it's very, very good. I feel like this tower moment is that accelerated motion. Something is happening at lightning speed pace. Something's happening very quickly for you guys. You guys have walked away from something. I feel like you guys have walked away from all the troubles. I feel like you guys have walked away from this mountain uh, of burdens that you guys have been in. Mm -hmm. You guys are definitely rising to higher levels, like I said, with this Hierophant here. You guys could be dealing with the Taurus. 
you guys are spiritual teachers or this is I feel this is a lot more about personal versus any type of relationship I feel like you guys have been walking away from burdens and as soon as I said that look at what we have here the past is coming back and they they are sorry mm -hmm. they have a surprise I'm hearing surprise somebody may have a surprise for you to try to get you to come back around them but I feel like eh, you're kind of like I'm over this you've already walked away from them this is part of this person from the past is part of the mountain that you had to overcome. And you've already walked away. Some of this, some, for some of you guys, this may have been a marriage. Yeah, you guys are beginning a brand new cycle. You guys are literally changing from one cycle. You guys are in the middle right here. And while you're in the middle, you're just kind of sitting pretty. Some of you guys, I'm feeling maybe worried. What did I say? Look at what we have at the bottom here. We got the fool's card. I told you. You guys are ready to take this leap of faith. But you guys are just sitting pretty in the middle till this next gate open up. And it's opening up very quickly. You guys are moving forward very quickly. Mm-hmm. But somebody wants to come back around. Let's get two more cards, Spirit. You guys are balancing out your emotions with this Queen of Cups here. One more overall. One more overall, Spirit. One more for my beautiful Cancers. Woo, you guys are moving forward. Some of you guys may be purchasing a new vehicle. Uh, we have, I was going to say, good of wands. <laughs> we have the page of wands at the bottom of the deck. So this is new information coming towards you. This is a new beginning. You guys are studying something, I feel. Some of you guys are studying something. And whatever you guys are studying, um, I feel like it's going to take you to these newer heights. I feel this read is more about you and your own personal development cancer versus it being about another person. Yes, another person is involved here in this reading. However, I feel like this is all about how you're moving away from this past. You're moving away from all of this negative energy and you're focused on your dreams. You're focused on your goals. You're focused on your career here is what I see. You're focused on your destiny. You're focused on why you were even put on on this earth on your purpose and I feel like you get a lot of recognition I feel like all of these stars that's in the sky is all the people that are recognizing you and seeing you and you're just shining bright through the through through all this stuff that you've been through you're so, you're you're focused cancer that's what I'm feeling you guys are focused September is a, about a month of focus and you guys are taking action you guys, it's not like you need to take action. You have already taken action. You guys are like, bump this. I'm not sitting around waiting for anybody. I'm taking action on my dreams, on my life. Bump everybody that has something negative to say. Bump everybody in the past. Ooh, and look at this eight of cups. All those mountains in the background. Y'all see all those mountains in the background there? I hope you guys can see that just fine. All those mountains in the back of this, uh, in the back of this card. You guys are walking away from all of that. And this person is going to try to come back around. They're full of bullshit. There is it's, it's bullshit. It's not real. They're trying to. I feel like they're manipulative. I feel like somebody was manipulating you, Cancer. This could be you manipulating somebody else. But I feel like somebody was trying to manipulate you. Look at how. Look at this adult. Look at this adult. How they're giving them this. This. I feel like it's cotton candy or something in here. Kind of like here. Just take the candy. You'll be okay. And as a child, it's kind of like you were like, OK, well, it is candy. It is OK. You know, candy is good. Candy is sweet. But candy is also bad. Candy and make your teeth fall out. This person is manipulative. And that surprise that I told you they have, that's that cotton candy that they got for you. But it's not good. It's BS. It may taste good for the moment. It may sound good. But what's your action like, though? I used to, uh, somebody that I used to, that I used to be connected with used to always say, it sounds good. It sounds good. It sounds good. I hear you talking. I hear you talking. What they're trying to get at is what, a, okay, it sounds good. But what about when we get into the thick of it? What about, uh, -uh. no, this person is manipulating you. And this person, this child here is kind of looking like, uh, I don't think I can trust you. <laughs> So then they try to come back around like, OK, maybe that didn't work. So look at they keep offering you. They keep trying to offer you something in they cup. They got two cups that they're trying to offer you. But it's both BS. It's manipulation tactics for sure. Woo, they're trying to manipulate you. Let that go. I feel you have let it go. But this is just a warning that they are going to try to come back around. Um, but and when they come back around, it's BS. They're manipulating you. So don't fall for it. I feel like your focus for this month, Cancer. 
is that you are literally focused on you. You're focused on your dreams. You're focused on your work. You're focused on your goals. Um, and I feel like you're going to get a lot of abundance from all of your dreams and from all of your hard work and from you putting in the work to actually um, to, to move forward within yourself. Mm hmm. But I feel like you need to connect with your spirit team more because there's still a lot of there's still a lot within you that has to be revealed. But things are balancing out for you again. I feel like this is a, a lot of spiritual energy I'm feeling as well. I feel like some of you guys are spiritual teachers or just regular teachers, um, maybe in a school system or something like that. Um, but some of you, you guys are in a position of authority. I feel if you're not in a position of authority right now, whatever you're working on, it will put you in a position of authority It's going to put you in a position of spotlight. Mm -hmm. But you're moving forward. And again, with this, I feel like some of you guys will be getting a new car or purchase a new a new car. Are you trying to manifest a new car? It may be a little while longer before you get this vehicle, but that's OK. It's part of the lessons. It's part of what you're supposed to go through. I feel if you had a car right now, um, then you, you're going to miss some of the lessons that you need to learn by you not having a car right now, if that makes sense. I don't know what lessons you need to learn or um, it may not necessarily be lessons or things that you may come to realize or it's just it's helping you to be stronger. It's helping you to build your character or something like that I'm getting. But as soon as you get this car, you will be all over the place. You, you're going to get your car. You get your car. But I feel like it may be a little while longer before you get it. Not too much longer, but you just need to have a little bit more patience. But you do get your vehicle. And I feel like you cannot wait to just ride out and be like, yes, I feel like when a car is hindering you in some type of ways as well, but you still you're you're that's not stopping you and you're still moving forward no matter what mm -hmm. you're moving forward no matter what you been took action. You're you're gathering all your resources and everything you need to be like, OK, I don't care what I don't have. You're not focused on what you what you don't have. You're focused on bringing what you desire into your reality. That's all you see. You are you are laser focused, and that is a really really good thing. Wow. Woo, if I did extend it, boy, I would definitely want to go in and do an extended on this one because I am feeling this energy. This energy is very 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 positive you guys i love this energy for you all cancer keep going uh in the direction you're going keep um doing what you're doing this month of september is very very blessed for you guys um yeah i guess i'm going to leave it there <sighs> I'm not getting anything else. So I'm going to leave your read there, Cancer. Wow, this is a good read. So if I have said anything that has resonated with you, please comment below and let me know um, how it has resonated with you. Don't forget to hit that like button and also the subscribe button. I would love to have you join the family. And if you are interested in a personal read or connecting with me on Instagram, all of that information can be found down below in the description box. Bye, Cancer.